Hello and welcome everyone to uh, this session of Metta Meditation on Loving Kindness and Compassion. Uh, my name is Venerable Sumangalo from Bodhiyana Monastery. A uh, little background about myself, I am, I've been staying here about five and a half years now in training. Uh, I have three reigns as a bhikkhu now. I'm from uh, Silicon Valley, California. Uh, I uh, uh, came over here to ordain in 2015 as an Anagarika and have been staying on ever since. A uh, little bit of background, I have some uh, schooling uh, in finance and uh, IT. Uh, I study around a local university around the uh, the Bay Area in Silicon Valley. And um, so I've uh, been fairly happy here training at Bodhiyana Monastery and just continuing my practice here. And today I uh, uh, wanted to volunteer my time to uh, help out with Ajahn Brahm's birthday, uh, 70th, 70th birthday celebra celebration uh, in uh, giving uh, a guided meditation and that's my way of giving back to all the supporters all over the world uh, who have supported uh, the monastery uh, over so many years and uh, I wanted to do my part and contribute in that way any little way that I can and uh, this is probably one of the best ways I can help out so uh, so meta, meta meditation, uh, you know, as a layperson, I had some experience, uh, you know, starting out with some metta and compassion, and you know, uh, and reading uh, the Nikayas, the Anguttara Elevens, Anguttara Nikaya Elevens, the Pali Nikayas, and in there, it's uh, two of the benefits of metta meditation that really stood out for me is uh, that if you do loving kindness or spray loving kindness or uh, that you get you get a really nice sleep you sleep well uh, and you awaken happily so uh, that's fairly true in my experience uh, you meditate and have a pure heart pure mind uh, you tend to sleep well and wake up very happy and another thing is if you uh, spread loving kindness, uh, the mind becomes stilled, samadhi, very quickly. And that's also true from my experience. Uh, you get into samadhi much quicker if you uh, start off with uh, loving kindness uh, initially and then go into maybe the silence. So it helps to uh, have that attitude, that uh, attitude of loving kindness and compassion uh, as a feeling, as an emotion. And to start that off, uh, so, so the virtues of uh, practicing meditation, so that's, uh, meditation is, is also a way of, of generosity, of letting go. So as you probably have heard, Ajahn Brahm talks about, you know, we meditate to let go. Uh, as in giving, uh, relinquishing, giving up, and not to get things, but to give up things, which is also like generosity, giving in our meditation, not having an attitude of wanting, getting, oh, I'm getting something out of this meditation, or, you know, that kind of attitude is, is not the right one of meditation, but an attitude of being generous, just giving your time, giving, uh, you know, this moment, kindness, and having that right attitude to begin with um, will uh, guide you in the right direction of what medita meditation is about. So, so in, a, in our way of paying respects to our Dhamma teachers, their meditation is uh, is a great way of showing that we uh, <clears throat> we're paying respects to the Buddha by 
following his instructions, not, not just by uh, um, saying good things, but actually following what the teachings say to do, following the instructions. I think that's one of the highest thing you can do uh, in respects to the Buddha is to follow the teachings, uh, keeping virtue, your sila really well, uh, meditating, being generous with your time and your resources. Um, that's so that's so some of the virtues of uh, our practice. And this, uh, this program is a coordinated global meditation program to mark Ajahn Brahm's 70th birthday, uh, to celebrate all his um, hard work over so many years of um, training in Thailand, going there for nine years to uh, practice with Ajahn Chah, and then coming over here to Perth to set up Bodhiyana um, initially where the land was basically empty, there's no buildings, no nothing, just trees and uh, just the land. And he started out with nothing, with Ajahn Jagaro. So just re recollecting that, how much uh, hard work that Ajahn had, it, how much difficulty he had to um, go through to have what we have today, which is, you know, much, much more um, beautiful buildings and comfortable facilities for for, our, for the monks and for the, the lay people to come and live and practice. Um, and, <clears throat> and reflecting in that way, we have a attitude of appreciation and not taking for granted what we have uh, in, in the present time. And that way it gives us energy and motivation to, to put the time in, to, to treasure the time and not waste those times and uh, be heedless. Uh, with our resources and I really uh, remembering uh, having a gratitude for our teachers and those who have gone before us. And Ajahn Brahm is def definitely, um, you know, one of those people, if not the, the, the most out of all those people that came in the beginning. So in, uh, for this uh, global me meta meditation, we, uh, we're paying respects to Ajahn, but our teachers in Ajahn Brahm, uh, by uh, giving our time and giving our meditation energy to them as a way of showing our respect to them. And so, uh, and I will start with uh, the guidance, uh, meditate, meta meditation. So, so if you can sit comfortably. Uh, in a chair, on a cushion, on the floor, anywhere where you can hold your body fairly uh, relaxed, uh, fairly erect, where you could hold it in a comfortable position for long periods of time. So just relaxing, starting off relaxing the body. That's what I like to do, stretching my back, my lower back, up my spine to my neck. Oh, that feels nice. To my uh, shoulders, stretching that. Loosening the tight spots. <clears throat> Feel your arms. See how you're holding your arms and relax that. Having it in a comfortable, non-tight way. Seeing how your bottom is on the cushion or the chair. Make sure that's uh, set up properly before we have to sit for a long period. That way we don't have to move so much. So sitting, planning your bottom in a comfortable spot. Now checking your thighs and leg and knees and your feet, making sure that they are comfortable, placed in a, a balanced way.
Now all the way back up to your head. Checking your head that is well balanced on your your head, uh, your neck. So making sure your spine is aligned in a comfortable, erect way. And checking your facial muscles, seeing if you're not holding your face tightly. Checking the muscles around your eyebrows, around your eyes, your forehead, around your nose, your mouth, your chin, making sure your jaw is relaxed, not holding it tightly. And overall, your, 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 your skull, making sure that's relaxed. And so we have checking your whole body again, see if there's any uh, uncomfortable spots that you've missed. Not checking everything. Okay, so now that's actually loving kindness there. If you realize it or not, loving kindness and compassion and allowing your body to be in a comfortable position and not forcing it in any way because really the body knows what to do. You know, if you ask your body, oh, what, how do you want to sit? How would you want, how does your leg want to be? How does your back want to be? How does your face, your spine, your arms? You ask that and it will tell you, non-verbally that is. And once you have that good uh, relationship with your body, that loving kindness and compassion for it, you love, if you have compassion for your body, you, your body will have compassion for you and loving kindness for you. So once you have that beautiful relationship, that, that the correct attitude of, of a loving kindness, then you have uh, set up the right foundation for the meditation t um, to go well. So once you have your body uh, relaxed in a kind posture, now just feeling the sensations in your body. So take a few moments to feel that. And usually you ask your body what's most prominent and usually my body goes to the present moment. And what's in the present moment? The present moment is whatever you're aware of. Whatever the mind, the body wants to look at, whatever is there. So for me right now, it likes the body, the mind goes, oh yeah, I, li I like to look at the breath. So. For me, that's the breath. For you, it might be, you know, other objects. So, so I'm just allowing the breath to be, to breathe itself, going in, going out. And putting the uh, kindness or compassion between you and whatever you're observing. So I'm putting kindness between me and the breath. Looking it on, looking it w with a kind, uh, friendly attitude of appreciation.
whatever you have appreciation for usually will stay with you. It's easier to watch. Once you're fairly relaxed, your mind and body have a good relationship with, your, with you, fairly peaceful, then you can pick up meditation object that we, what we call it for loving kindness or compassion to take off. So, uh, Objects of, med of loving kindness are usually objects that are easy to uh, hold in your heart, in your mind. So objects such as uh, cuddly, warm things that give you a sense of warmness and fondness and uh, kindness towards. And usually that would be a cute little animal such as a kangaroo here in the monastery. They are very cute, the little baby kangaroos, the joeys as they call it. And they uh, hop around the monastery and we walk there around. We see them every day almost. And they're almost like our pets, you know, like your dogs and cats. So that's a, a beautiful way to start. The, uh, your uh, meditation to take up now is your, your dog or cat, your, your child, a baby, anything that gives you uh, a sense of ease and kindness towards, something easy for that, uh, that metta to uh, arise in your heart. So for me, um, early on, I, what I used is um, a memory of myself as a child and I usually use that as my object of meditation for compassion and kindness because when you look back in your life when you were a child, uh, maybe six, seven, eight years old or even younger, and you remember how innocent and, uh, you know, uh, how adorable you were. And at times where you really needed compassion and kindness it wasn't there for you because you're you're so young and sometimes your parents weren't there for you and you know you're just kind of on your own and those are the times that you bring up when you're just a, a child in school and you remember how you look visualize yourself uh, at a particular time in your life when you're young that's for me. And then you remember, oh, oh how, how vulnerable you were. And if you were able to go back in time as an adult and you give yourself a hug. Oh, giving myself a hug. Saying, you're okay. You're all right. I'm here for you. I'm here to protect you. I'm here to guide you. Don't worry. I am here for you. So you give yourself a big hug. <laughs> big hug. So give yourself a hug as a, as a child. And just stay there. How do you feel? It just feels so nice to be hugged, to be cared for, to be loved.
Just hugging an innocent child, embracing with unconditional love and kindness and compassion. Opening the door of your heart to yourself. Whatever good, whatever you have done, good or bad, you accept yourself. All of it. All of your mistakes. All of your bad deeds, which is usually very small. I mean, mm -hmm. You'd say to yourself, please come in. All, your, all, the, all of you, come on in. Open the doors of your heart to yourself. And that way you're at ease. You're not rejecting any part of you. Stay there and feel that beautiful feeling, the golden light of loving kindness. Visualize that light. Feel its warmth. Ah, oh, how nice. How nice at last to be accepted. To be accepted by yourself. You are now accepting out of your, out of you, good and bad, also oh, nice. No part of you is rejected. Feel the, feel the kindness. How it, ha how does it feel in the body? Wow. Ah, oh, so soothing. So soothing and healing. I guess the word healing. Take a few moments to enjoy that delicious flavor of loving kindness. Savor it. So for the next 34 minutes, 
we'll continue on with that feeling that we have developed so far and to savor it enjoy it let it sink into your heart and mind let it heal your body and mind and we'll go into we'll be quiet and enjoy it for the next 30 to 40 minutes.
Okay, so we're almost near the end of our, med the, our meditation. So how do you feel keeping your eyes shut and feeling your body, feeling your mind? How do you feel? You can feel a lot of energy and peace and that golden light of loving kindness has increased to a very strong degree. And now we, now we have the energy within ourselves. We can spread it and share it with other people. So I'll, usually I start off with uh, my family, close the people that are closest to me. So thinking of your parents, your dad, your mom. your brothers and sisters, your pets. <laughs> mm. Your best friends. The people who are closest to you in your life. And extend that. Next we move on to our Dhamma teachers. These are the people that taught us how to meditate, taught us the, the teachings of the Buddha. Such as Ajahn Brahm, especially Ajahn Brahm. Just, uh, to celebrate his 70th birthday, we spread that lo beautiful loving kindness and compassion towards him. and have a feeling of appreciation for all the hard work he's done and wish him well. Extend that to our other Dhamma brothers and sisters out there, our good friends in the spiritual life, other monks and nuns, other people that you practice with, your temple is your meditation centers, people you are in contact with that you have appreciation for that have helped you develop over the years. And Sending that energy, wishing Ajahn Brahm good health, long life, and the continued ability to inspire us with his practice and teachings. And so we like to revisit and summarize what we've learned today. Loving kindness and compassion, these beautiful emotions, is something that you experience. And to start off the meditation today, we gave loving kindness toward the body by relaxing it, appreciating it, and being kind to it, asking it what it needs, being a friend to it. And then we move into the realm of emotions and mind once our body is relaxed. We Pick an object of the mind that is most suitable for loving kindness to be cultivated. So usually a good object would be a cuddly animal such as your pets and dogs. You're uh, a baby, uh, kangaroos, 
such easy objects from meta to spark its uh, its a uh, fire of loving kindness and once that spark is ignited you kindle it develop it uh, focus on it to, so allow it to burn stronger over time and extend it to whatever object that you're aware of so you, you start off with an easy object and you move on to uh, other objects that are more suitable as uh, the meditation develops just such as your breath you, you be kind to your breath and then getting that energy up and just focusing on maybe the breath the silence the energy the mind and building up that energy and in the end of the meditation we use that energy and zap people that we care about share that out to all beings to our spiritual teachers friends and uh, basically based sharing out merit to every everyone out there so i'd like to conclude today's meditation by offering this uh, guidance as a, a gift to uh, all the people out there that have helped myself, uh, Bodhiyana Monastery, uh, as a way of, uh, of gra showing my gratitude towards Ajahn Brahm on his 70th birthday, uh, really uh, taking to heart how much how much benefit I've gotten out of uh, being here at Bodhiyana and wanting uh, everyone to uh, celebrate such a inspiring life of Ajahn Brahm, of someone who's uh, selfless, compassionate, kind. Uh, very rare in the world that you'll ever meet someone like that. And so today, by celebrating his 70th birthday, we're doing something very inspiring by following the instructions of uh, the Buddha, of uh, the Ajans, Ajahn Brahm, by practicing meditation, by following their instruction. That's the, that's the best thing you can do as the highest respect we can do for our teachers, is uh, following their instructions. So, uh, uh, I'd like to conclude with that, and I wish you well, and uh, may you be happy and well. <laughs> may you have a good sleep and have good samadhi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>